Hi everybody, Guiding Halo here. Your neighborhood Guiding Halo is hopping back on the horse. It's been a little while, hey, but I've needed to heal from, from some things. Um, this announcement is to let you know I'm getting back into lives. They'll be Thursday, uh, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. That's where I'm at. And Sunday at 1 p.m. I may throw in a few extras in there. Also, uh, there will be monthly readings that have an extended to them. And any readings that I do do that have extended, you can purchase uh, below the links in the videos uh, that I do. And there is a separate price for if you just want one reading. It's $5.55. And it may be more, but that's where it started at. So it depends. And then the uh, if you want all of the monthly expanded standards, if you sign up for Patreon for $11.11, .11, you can have them for every sign, all of them, okay? So that's my plan moving forward. I'll also be doing Daily Hopes again, which I am so stoked about. Those were one of my favorites. It got me through for a, a very long time. And uh, yeah, so I'm very excited to be getting back on the horse. Next announcement, I will be starting an online store. And well, I've already started it, but I'll be sending you guys to it shortly. I hope to have a bunch of tarot stuff on there as well as other home goods and such. If you can think of anything that you'd like or that you buy regularly online or whichever, do let me know. You know, I'll be having crystals in there, a bunch of things. So that's where I'm headed. What do you guys think? You know, you, uh, your feedback's important to me. If you leave a comment under this video, I will definitely read them all. Um, I will respond to what I think is a great idea and yeah, we'll move from there, okay? It's time to get upward and onward. It's not about throwing the baby out with the bathwater. <laughs> it's about combining everything together to make something beautiful. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hello my Cancer friends, it's Guiding Halo here. This is going to be a reading for September for you guys. General energy, see what's coming up for you. Central energy you're working with at the moment is the Nine of Pentacles. Enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. Wow, you guys are sitting in some nice energy, not having to worry too, too much about what's going on. Queen of Water, Tender-hearted, empathic, patient, loving, relationships develop to a new level, trust your intuition, care for yourself and others. So this is your energy, I think, uh, stepping from a, a place of focusing on the finances and then getting into a scenario where your emotions are called to be very balanced and unconditional. Let's find out about this Nine of Pentacles. This is what's going on underneath, so it's very possible. I've seen Nine of Pentacles, it's like, um, I don't feel luxurious, Halo, are you kidding me? I don't have enough money, I've been striving, I've been this and I've been that and. But in actuality, that's what their divine's trying to bring you towards. You may get communication about someone wanting to, well, just someone wanting to talk. There could be communication you have with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn that is uh, important, prominent. I think that you've been holding on to your money. In fact, you're concerned about skating on the thin ice where your money's concerned. Perhaps uh, you guys are coming to an end of a government um, supplement situation. So you've been watching, waiting, learning. I think there's something, um, I think you're trying to avoid a battle of some sort. You're trying to. Mm. The time is coming very soon where you're going to be able to put the work in. Some of you may end up wanting to go back to school or take a course. There could be something you're learning online towards becoming self employed or very independent financially. I think it's a tangible offer, it's a tangible thing, but I think you're concerned about what the work level is going to be. I think you're fighting your own mind on it. It's like a, 
it's not self-sabotaging energy here that I feel. It's like your mind is wondering whether you should put in all this work or not. Will it yield the benefits you're hoping for? Am I being lied to about how great it is? I don't want to get myself in a situation where I have too much hope and then end up falling on my face. Here's your, your energy of wanting to birth the new into your life. It seems the divine is trying to take you to a nine of pentacles scenario. And that's just before the ten, ten of pentacles. That's sitting very good, not having to worry about your finances, whether you choose to or not. The nine of pentacles is different to every single person. The nine of pentacles to some could mean I'm rich, but I'm single. The nine of pentacles to some could mean, oh my gosh, I'm getting more money than I ever thought I did. I don't have to worry quite so much. My budget's not so tight now. You see, Nine of Pentacles is different to whomever perceives it. King of Wands. Somebody wanting maybe to become a business owner or work with somebody who's incredible passionate, incredibly passionate. You may be dealing with a mother figure right now that's kind of got you all up in your head too. This could be about whether you want to be single or whether you want to move forward, whether you want to work for a business or whether you want to become self-employed. I see there's something that you'd like to start here, but I feel like I feel like there's energy around you that's keeping you from doing so. Be gentle with yourselves, my friends. Good news absolutely is coming in. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of juggling that needs to be done because of this good news. Um, taking things in a new trajectory or wanting to. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others. I feel like you're coming into a new relationship with yourself about trusting your intuition. You, Wow. Some of you, if anyone here is in relationship, you are with a perfect match for you. Brand new home, brand new job, brand new life, brand new you. The Ace of Cups is a new start in many different things it could uh, stem to. But the Divine is calling you to take control of a situation here and be passionate about what you want to create moving forward. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, Libra even, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and well, Aries, Scorpio, Aquarius. This is about really taking control of a circumstance or a situation. Maybe you've built this uh, stability for yourself financially and you're looking at building it in other ways. I always wonder if some of you here have had an issue with what is home to you your whole life. Oh no, Halo, I know that like I'm my home. I know I've got this, I've got that, I've got this, I've got that. But I think there's some sort of deeper spiritual issue. Perhaps it's a balance that needs to happen between the masculine feminine energy within you. I think when you're alone, you have a bunch of strong masculine energy. And then as you end up in relationship, you end up in more uh, feminine energy. Or even if you're... Uh, a man when you end up in a relationship you perhaps end up more in a masculine role but when you're on your own you're more in a feminine role I think there's a, a, mm, a fractured understanding of which way to head forward and what best serves you but I think this is about balancing the two <clears throat> there could be people coming in uh, to your life that are going to offer you new circumstances new situations it's going to make you incredibly emotional it's absolutely a gift from God, these new opportunities. I think that it's going to require a lot of responsibility. I think even for quite some time that you've been carrying a lot of weight and a lot of responsibility by yourself about how to do things, what to do. Where should my home be? Well, I can nurture anything anywhere. Well, that's good. That's beautiful. But can you nurture yourself anywhere? Can you nurture yourself into the loving energy that's going to bring about this fella? Well, I want to say yes, because he's showing up in the reading. And if you're this person, can you love yourself and nurture yourself? Bring yourself down to a more balanced energy, not so much masculine nor feminine. 
to a balanced energy so that you can actually be this portal of, of energy that pulls someone to you, manifests this someone to you. Let's get an oracle card. Rose's kiss. This just came out for Capricorns, so you may be dealing with a Capricorn in some way. It's about stopping to smell the roses, my friend, enjoying the little things in life, enjoying the things in life that are going to, you know, that make you happy. I'm going to read that to you, though, because I always miss so much. Take a deep breath and center on the feeling of joy. Can you allow your senses to awaken and connect with your intimate or innate desire to experience all life has to offer? Pleasure is part of life. Let yourself surrender to it today. Our modern times often present a false idea of how we are meant to experience the world. Connections are lost and distorted by our over-reliance on technology. Just look around and see how few people actually maintain eye contact or engage in conversation. Instead of tapping away at a screen, pause and consider how you can make more intimate contact. Connecting with nature, enjoying the sensual pleasures of sex and or being aware of the sensations of taste, touch, smell, sight, and sound may be important right now. How do you, your sheets feel? Can you reach out and feel the heat of softness, on, of softness of your companion animal nestled beside you? Be present to another person, see them, and let yourself be seen. Your five senses are aching to be engaged right now. This is an invitation to get out of your head and into your body. You may be a spiritual and intelligent being, but right now, the emphasis should be on having a sensory experience. This is a sacred part of this gift of life. By being present to the sensual world, you in invite an even deeper spiritual experience. Amazing, isn't it? Perhaps it really is time to stop and kiss the roses. Beautiful. All right. I don't know if you guys will want to enjoy, uh, join me in the extended. You can feel free to if you would like to. You can purchase it separately or you can purchase it uh, on Patreon. If you go into Patreon, that amount that you pay will give you every extended that I do all month long. And I think if it's a single purchase, it's like $5.55 or something. All right, so I hope to see you there. If not, have a beautiful month. We're going to find out what's crossing this circumstance, this situation. We're going to find out what the best possible outcome is. Okay? I love you guys.